Okay, so you can see him back there. <laughs> um, I got into anime when I was five years old, I believe. I was really young. Um, I know exactly how I got into it. I I remember the exact show. I, I remember the exact moment I started watching anime. Um, I was five, four or five, five years old. And, uh, <laughs> I am actually 19 years old now, so I've been watching it for a very long time. And, uh, I lived in this house that was my home house. I grew up there for, like, 17 years, 17, 18 years. And, uh, I was in my room, and I remember I had a black bunk bed that used to be my brother's, and I used to climb on this thing all the time like I was a little monkey, and, uh, one day I stayed on Nickelodeon for too long and then a movie came on. Um, and of course I'm a kid, I'm taking, I took a nap and so I had my TV on, I fell asleep, I woke up and then the first thing I see is orange. And, uh, <laughs> saw an orange haired character that instantly caught my attention. And, uh, it just, I remember the scene, um, there is a girl on his back and she disappeared. She faded away and all that. And he was, he looked sad about it. I didn't know the movie. I knew nothing about it at that moment, but I just knew that scene. And so the movie ended, blah, blah, blah. And I realized I should have been asleep and not staying up like I have. And so I turned off my TV, went back to bed. And, uh, at this time I'm five years old. I, I know, I know how to turn my own TV off and everything. And I know I should be asleep, but, um, I finished the movie, even though I didn't know what it was, and it was already the end of the movie anyways, and uh, never saw that show until probably a year later, or probably a few years later, because I somehow found the show again. I found Bleach, and it was the normal TV series and all that. I found Bleach, and it didn't hit me. But I recognized the orange-haired character. It was Ichigo. And uh, I didn't recognize him. But I recognized him. And then somehow I got into the movie Memories of Nobody. And it got to the exact scene that I saw. And as soon as I saw it. It clicked. And it just like. Something went through me. And I'm like this is my show. This is my show. And I just continued and continued and continued to watch every single episode of Bleach. Every single movie. Every single thing I could find of this. Bleach became my entire world. And Ichigo became everything to me. And, uh, and as I got older, I started like being able to look stuff up and... I found Johnny Young Bosch being the voice actor for Bleach, or for Ichigo and Bleach, and uh, I just, I loved the way he played Ichigo, and it just became something where he became my favorite voice actor. So I followed any work that he was in, I watched, I watched Dragon, I, I mean, I watched everything, I watched Free, I mean, even his new work in... My Hero Academia, um, the little stuff like little stuff he did in Naruto. I mean, he just became a favorite, and I could recognize his voice instantly. And then, when it got to the time that Bleach got canceled, I was upset. I was really upset because uh, my childhood just ended, and. I wasn't going to get any more of Ichigo that I haven't already seen. And, um, it was hard. Um, 
I started, of course, I watched more anime than just Bleach and all that. But it just, I always went back to Bleach. I always went back to episodes of Ichigo. I always went back to see Hollow Ichigo. I mean, he became something that I just always went back to. And just seeing the character just personally makes me happy. And, uh, and then this, I think it was that last year or this year, it was last year, it was announced that um, they were continuing the Bleach anime with the War Saga. And uh, <laughs> I almost started crying. I was so happy that Ichigo was coming back to the big screen. And uh, I'm hoping, and I think it's going to happen. I'm pretty sure I heard this happen, or I saw this, but I think Johnny is coming back to voice Ichigo. And uh, I'm just going to be probably one of the most content people ever. <laughs> uh, but it it's something I'm really looking forward to. I don't know when it's happening, but I just can't wait. I'm I'm being trying to be patient but I want it so bad and I even have a plushie of Ichigo um I call it the plushie Ichini I don't know why but that's what I started calling it and uh it's in this bankai form and that's actually just how my love for anime happened I just I found Bleach coincidentally and just I, I loved cartoons. I was a kid, and I was used to cussing because my family is freaking crazy. I'm used to cussing, and uh, of course my family, my family was just Family Guy and all that crap, and they watch Adult Swim. So like I knew about a lot of cussing. I knew about stupid shit. I mean, I knew about all kinds of all kinds of sex stuff. I mean, like I knew about it at a young age because my family was just crazy. Uh, they left nothing to the imagination, and. Uh, so it didn't really bother me that they were cussing and screaming at each other and there was blood everywhere because I played sports. I was used to, I was used to blood. I was used to bones breaking. I mean, I've seen a lot. Uh, my dad was a hunter. My dad's a Marine. And I mean, it just, I've seen a lot and it just never bothered me. And kind of my, kind of my little, uh, choice for shows is uh, I like blood and gore. I like fighting. I like swords. I like battle, blood, sweat, and tears. And, uh, I don't care what anybody says about Bleach Seasons. I don't care what they have to say about it. If it's repetitive or something like that, it doesn't matter if it was repetitive. It still gave us something to look forward to. It still gave us something that was different than what we've seen because we've seen Ichigo go crazy in his hollow form but we've never seen him go crazy like the way he did with Okiyota and uh that was probably one of my it's probably one of my favorite forms of hollow Ichigo um but nothing beats the classic giant one who <sighs> looks crazy that's like super buff and the hole is like taking up most of his chest he's got red stripes everywhere and he's got a long tail and <laughs> and he's like I just, nothing I can't forget this show and I probably never will but that's actually how I got an anime is that dude right there and uh kind of ashamed to say this, kind of not. Uh, I have written stories about Ichigo just because of the impact he's made on me. But, um, it just, he means a lot to me. Sorry, he's a fictional character, but he's a fictional character that got me through a lot of my life. Because, uh, when I was in middle school, um, partly the reason why I have my dog, I uh, wanted to kill myself. I was very depressed. Um, I got bullied. My own family thought I was a mistake. And uh, it just, it was hard for me to live. I thought that I was, it was going to be better off with me being gone. I didn't think I needed to exist. But I found solitude in anime 
YouTube, like PewDiePie and Chibi, um, which is my dog. And uh, that's the reason I named my dog. Um, Chibi means rut in Japanese. And uh, I actually started learning a lot of Japanese because of anime. And so everything just goes back to anime saving me. And I uh, still watch it this day. I don't watch it as I'm used as much as I used to because I am 19. I have a job. I am in college. But I still go back to it. I'm still following My Hero Academia because season four is amazing so far. Um, there's a couple of shows that I would love to have another season, but I haven't heard them getting another season. They've gotten movies. Um, Dragon Slayer or Demon Slayer is such a beautiful work of art. Um, the gr the graphics and the dr the animation is just so gorgeous that I've seen a lot of anime. <laughs> okay, I've seen a lot of anime, but the art style of Demon Slayer just amazed me. Just the way the characters are created and how they evolve and the storyline and how they look and it's just it's gorgeous but I still can't get away from my orange orange haired freak over there <laughs> so but that's all I got in the anime anime that's the word not anime <laughs> but um the blanket I actually have now uh this is blanky I, uh, it's chibi forms of, uh, <laughs> a bunch of those characters up there, um, has the colossal titan on it, and, uh, I've been through every single surgery with this blanket. This blanket has been here since my very first hip surgery, uh, I was probably 14, 13, 14, 15, 14, it's 14 years old when I got my first hip surgery. And, uh, I woke up to this. This is what I woke up to every single time. And it's what I clenched onto when I was screaming in pain. This was my safe blanket. And this is my blanket. <laughs> this is Blinky. And so, I just, anime has done a lot for me. And it's taught me a lot. But... I'll, I'll let this rant go. <laughs> it's probably, we're probably done now. 